make sure to subscribe to A Weeb Gathering. That is our other channel. I will be plugging this from now on. <laughs> so just before I continue any further, please take the time. The few minutes, the link will be in the description. Help us out. Get us higher there. We only have less than 10 subscribers currently. Get us up to a minimal of 50 and make sure to continue subscribing. If we pass the goal, awesome, guys. We're trying to grow that channel. I need your support. I need you guys to do that for us. It's not just me. It's a group of fellas, a group of homies, a group of weebs, really, just trying to get there. So make sure to do so. It would be the world to us. As always, a thank you and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? Chu here, bringing you a, another review and reaction on a fairy tale 100 year quest. And this chapter was a pretty cool. I enjoyed it. We got to see Aquarius finally, and a good little, I guess, continuation between the fight between Natsu and Brian. I, I, I will say he's getting a little bit annoying, to my opinion. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. So we start off with seeing Aquarius finally free she actually spawns and first thing she says is like just berating both brandish and lucy it's talking about how they took their sweet time finding them and that brandish should be arfing like a dog it was just hilarious and i love how both girls are just like obedient to aquarius when it comes to alpha women in the fairy tale universe aquarius is there she's among the top there is nothing like no one's debating that nothing will change my mind otherwise and i think most of us will agree i think we all can agree that aquarius is a person who we should not be taking lightly at all and what's fun about all this is the fact that aquarius sees macrophobia and is like hey what's going on like you know mutual respect nothing about nothing about what she was doing or saying or like even looking at him was disrespectful i love that about that and it's like two old buddies just like seeing each other for the first time in so long so that was cool i thought that was nice that we saw but we don't know who aquarius is going to end up going with it would be a serious twist though if aquarius decides i'm just going to belong to myself I don't need anyone i can basically show up if i need for, need to for either one of you i'd be cool with that you know but it is we'll see we don't really know it'll have to wait going forward to the other fight though to me a little lesser of an important fight is the brian versus natsu natsu is i don't want to say overwhelmed by this guy at all um brian however thinks that with him being drag dragonized if that's the word he thinks that he is you know big cheese now like basically saying you know i'm much powerful now much stronger and though i think both statements are true natsu is not phased at all by this guy uh brian was pretty wild he actually goes after uh natsu's arm trying to eat it and he blows his like freaking mouth off which is insane i was not expecting him to do that and so what was funnier is that we saw the other little ash or like little puff dragon uh not puff the little like smoke exceed and just seeing how this little character was going to square off up against happy as if something was actually going to happen uh she it actually starts to fly down to happy and it looks like they will have some kind of a battle. And it's kind of funny because at the moment right now, with where like the anime is, Happy was a Chad. And like we're seeing Happy actually, in my opinion, be more active in the 100 Years quest than he had ever really been in the main storyline. Like we've seen some pretty cool moments with Happy. And like especially the one that maybe most of us remember is the one where, you know, we saw Happy having to stand up against other exceeds with Carla, but here, you know, he's he's having to do more battles. Like he's honestly been having to fight more. And I think that's pretty cool. But while that is going on, we see that Brian basically has enough time to recover and not to just molly wops him. Like he just gets him and just knocks out his teeth and it's like, good, I'm seeing you can still talk. And I'm like, dude, stay down. Like you're 
you're not a challenge Shinatsu, and he's on a mission. He's trying to find where Ignea is, and he's still asking him that, which is crazy. He asks him, and then he punches him in the mouth. So it's like, Brian, just admit you've lost. But overall, a pretty quick chapter. Not bad. Funny with Aquarius, but Brian takes a beatdown. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you go enjoy. 